This event hits home, as it happened very close to home. I remember hearing the news the day after the event. I live only about one mile from the location. On July 22nd, 2018, a man who did have mental health issues decided to blindly shoot into restaurants while walking down the Danforth Avenue here in Toronto, Canada. Shootings are rare in Canada, but they do happen. We do have gun control, yet this man was able to get a hold of a handgun. His reasons for the shooting were never made clear. The damage and his intent were truly random. Many were wounded and were treated in local hospitals. Two died, a young woman of 18 and a young girl of 10. How do you recover from a loss like that? How are all these affected people, the victims, friends, family, supposed to deal with this trauma? This is one of the themes in this series. I've walked past those restaurants on the Danforth several times without a second thought since then. However, I'm sure some people can never go back. A bullet, a small piece of metal propelled at high velocity can shatter lives permanently. I use my art to help me process some of these thoughts. When I'm working with my images, I'm able to lose myself. It's sort of therapy for me. I have to find the good and the beautiful in this chaotic world. I have to bring those elements back. The sky remains blue. Life on the Danforth is still filled with those Greek restaurants, small shops, and the odd church. It's the Greek neighborhood in this city. It's a hot spot for locals who want a nice evening out, but as well a bit of a tourist draw when there are street festivals. I did have difficulty deciding on the source image for this. Finally, I selected the church at the corner of Danforth and Pape. I find churches or any place of worship to be peaceful locations where meditation and reconciliation with one's thoughts are possible. As well, for many, churches and faith might provide comfort to some people who have just experienced a great loss. However, for me, there was something special about how the facade of this church stretched up to the sky.